Hello today's video we have the following content. Star Studded, Tang Yan and Fang Shea of Fang join hands in single woman to create a new urban emotional classic. In the Hall of Light and Shadow, Tang Yan and Fang Shea of Fang are like two dazzling pearls. With their extraordinary acting skills and unique personal charm, they have left a deep impression in the hearts of countless audiences. Now, with the gorgeous opening of Single Woman, the former screen partners join hands again and start a new journey of urban emotions together. Time flies, recalling the glorious years when they fought side by side in the three-buddy problem, the tacit understanding and resonance are still vivid. Today, this deep friendship is like a precious treasure, which is carefully treasured in their hearts and turned into an infinite motivation and source of inspiration for this cooperation. As a masterpiece focusing on the independence and growth of modern women, Single Woman naturally attracted a lot of attention with its unique subject matter and profound connotation. The addition of Tang Yan and Feng Shui of Feng made this work popular before it was broadcast and became the focus of everyone's attention. They seem to be natural partners. Every eye contact and every emotional collision can create eye-catching sparks. During the filming process, Tang Yan and Feng Shui of Feng were highly professional and dedicated, and devoted themselves to the roles. They not only deeply explored the inner world of the characters, but also integrated their own emotions and understanding into them, making each character vivid and vivid on the screen. Their superb acting skills and affectionate interpretation not only moved the audience, but also made this work full of infinite possibilities and expectations. As the filming of Single Woman came to an end, the audience's expectations for this work became stronger. They are eager to see Tang Yan and Feng Shui of Feng's wonderful rivalry and affectionate interaction in the play. They expect this work to bring them more profound enlightenment and insights about love, career and growth. We believe that in the near future, Single Woman will conquer the hearts of every audience with its unique charm and profound connotation, and become a rare urban emotional classic. Next news. Tang Yan's short hair is stunning at the start of Single Woman, and the transformation of the post-85s actress leads the new trend. In the dazzling stars of the entertainment industry, Tang Yan once again illuminates the way forward with an extraordinary attitude. At the opening ceremony of Single Woman, she made a stunning appearance with a neat short hair, paired with a simple but stylish white t-shirt and sunglasses, instantly evoking the audience's deep memory of Xiao Maxing's independent image in silent separation, but this time she is more capable and intellectual, perfectly interpreting the unique charm of modern urban women, which is amazing. Single Woman is another masterpiece carefully selected by Tang Yan. It is adapted from a highly anticipated popular novel and deeply depicts the growth and transformation of an urban woman under the dual tempering of emotions and career. This role is not only highly consistent with Tang Yan's acting attitude of constantly seeking the depth of roles and daring to challenge herself in recent years, but also an important self-transcendence in her acting career. From a domineering female to a gentle and tough, and now an independent woman, Tang Yan has proved her acting skills and unlimited possibilities with one work after another, and one wide recognition and expectations from the audience. At the same time, another post-85's actress Zhao Liying's new drama Sunflower has also attracted heated attention. In the play, Zhao Liying appeared with a fresh short hair, playing the image of a female cadre who went deep into the countryside and dedicated her youth, showing a completely different style. The two actresses continue to break through themselves in their respective fields, interpreting the power and beauty of women in the new era in their own ways, and jointly leading the new trend of transformation of post-85's actresses. Every attempt and challenge of Tang Yan and Xiao Liying is a deep love for the performing arts career and a brave exploration of their own limits. With their superb acting skills and unique charm, they present one vivid and profound character image after another to the audience, and also contribute their own strength to the diversified development of China's film and television industry. In the future, we look forward to seeing them continue to shine on the road of performing arts and create more unforgettable moments. Next news. Nian Wushuang is Tang Yan's first fairy tale drama. If she is not good enough, she can't suppress this group of powerful supporting roles. Fairy tales and ancient idol dramas have always been the key field of competition among all parties. Although most of the 85 flowers are in the transition stage, they still haven't given up this field. For example, Liu Shishi is currently filming Fox Spirit Matchmaker, Bamboo Leaves, and Xiao Li Ying's upcoming Traveling with the Phoenix is also the same. Tang Yan's first work after her official comeback is Nian Wushong, which is her first fairy tale drama with a female lead. Everyone is very satisfied with her costume. You know, Zixuan, the descendant of Nua, and Ming Kei, the witch, are both amazing. However, 
Those were all supporting actresses in fairy tale dramas before. This time, it's the first time to be the first female lead in a fairy tale drama. Look at this makeup photo. The fairy spirit is simply bursting, with long hair and a dress that keeps dancing. At first glance, this costume is quite simple and not very gorgeous, but after taking a closer look, it feels quite attractive. The ribbon is simple and beautiful, which is a bit like the look of Ling Kingsha in The Legend of Zoo Mountain. Tang Yan, 39 years old, has always maintained a good figure, with slender limbs, great condition, tall stature, and a nice face. She is beautiful and smart. You know, this time Tang Yan is no longer playing a fairy girl, but a goddess who has cultivated to become a god, taking the root of a cold and elegant sister. Of course, fans are still worried about her, after all, it is easy to be ridiculed if she is still playing a fairy drama at an old age. However, after reading the plot setting in the main creative lineup, everyone can relax a little. When seeing the word fairy, many people will think of sad love in several lifetimes. However, Nian Wushuang is adapted from Shi Xiling's novel The World's Unparalleled, and the plot has nothing to do with the above adjectives. The heroine is Ji Tanian, a unique craftsman in the world. She doesn't care about worldly affairs, and devotes herself to craftsmanship. She is an ancient goddess with superb craftsmanship skills, who became a god as if defying the heavens. She ascended to become a god because of her extreme obsession with craftsmanship. She can make all kinds of weapons and she came to the world just to take away the male protagonist's left hand, this hand originally belonged to the god Tay. Although she approached the male protagonist with a purpose, she also sincerely protected the male protagonist and would never take other people's lives casually, thinking that she would take the hand after the male protagonist died of old age. The male protagonist Yuan Shang is a great monk of the fox tribe. When he saw the unparalleled god as when he was a child, he always remembered it in his heart. He would rather become the killing god of the tribe, with several fake faces on his face. No one knows his name or what he looks like. He is sensitive and suspicious. Since the female protagonist just appeared, he has doubted her identity, and even mistakenly killed the female protagonist's body in the mortal world. But he just regretted that she was gone, patted the dust on his body and left, because he didn't care at all at that time. After getting to know each other, he discovered the heroine's amazing craftsmanship and was moved by her sincerity and enthusiasm. The heroine tried her best to protect him and treat his injuries, and then Yuan Shang let Tan Yan see what she looked like and told her her name. Who is born for and who is dead for? The heroine has always been compassionate to all living beings in the world. This is purely the story of a fairy heroine. As soon as the heroine appeared, she was a goddess with all kinds of advantages. She was powerful and beautiful and she was not trapped by love. She was focused on the career of a goddess. You can understand it by looking at the resume of the screenwriter of this drama. Nian Wushuang is definitely a career route. The previous princess agents in Love and Destiny were all written by her. Tang Yan looks like a queen, and she is not suitable for playing a silly and sweet girl. This kind of cool character setting is particularly consistent with her image, and the cold goddess makes the audience full of expectations. Maybe Nian Wushuang will lead the trend of fairy queens. Tang Yan's partner is Liu Zuiyi, who is seven years younger than her. Many netizens who don't know the situation think that they don't match and don't seem to be from the same generation, but in the novel, these two are set as sister dogs. Take a look at this makeup look, Liu Zuiyi is really a male god in ancient costume. Wearing a light blue robe, with half of his hair draped, and decorated with a hairpin, he is full of fairy spirit and has a sense of charm. You guessed it right. The male protagonist Yuan Shang belongs to the fox clan. His body is a little fox. He is born good-looking and has a lot of thoughts. He has been wandering in the three realms for many years. This time he finally became the male protagonist, but his name is Yuan Zhuang, homonymous with Yuan Zhuang, which doesn't look like the male protagonist at all. This is his first time playing a fox fairy. He is not the kind of aloof style, but he is very sweet, can act coquettishly, and likes to tease the little sister. Looking at him laughing all day, he is actually very bitter in his heart. Later, he became a little fox who may explode at any time. In fact, Liu Zuiyi was the male lead once before, in the fairy tale drama Meet You Again When Flowers Fall, but due to the incident with the female lead Yuan Bingyan, the drama was not expected to be broadcast and was considered a failure. If we talk about the post-90s generation of young actors, who makes people feel the most pity? Then he must be one of them. Obviously. He is handsome, has good manners, and good acting skills, but no one supports him. 
This time he is partnered with 85 Flower Tang Yan. As long as he can seize the opportunity, he will definitely be a little popular and out of the circle. In recent years, Guo Xia Edding has always appeared in fairy tales and played many supporting female roles, such as the crazy female villain in When You First Meet Me, who is powerful, crazy, and very emotional. And the righteous female war god in Kang Lan Ju is completely different from the little potato Hui Yin back then. The character setting in Mian Wushuang is different from before, which makes people feel particularly fresh. As soon as she appeared in this look, I felt that it would definitely become a classic scene in the mixed cut video. She was dressed in white and tied her hair, cool and heroic. At first glance, it was very similar to Zhang Min's look in the old Hong Kong film The Heaven Sword and Dragon Saber. It was simple and beautiful, which magnified the advantages of the actor. I heard that Zhi Dai, played this time, is an ordinary girl, who has a clear distinction between love and hate, and is particularly strong in martial arts. After falling in love with the Fox Fairy Clan, she pursued it all her life and never gave up. She is also a particularly persistent character. With tears in her eyes, it seems that she finally gave up her relationship and ascended to become a god. Guo Xia Edding is worthy of her debut as a child star. Her performance is very stable. With just one look, she presented the characters in her heart to the audience without making any sound. It's so attractive. The most surprising thing in the whole drama is Zhang Li, who has never played a fairy hero. She is a very cool queen in modern clothes, a bright and beautiful beauty and full of charm in ancient costumes. She made a friendly appearance in The Wind Rises in Wo Yong and accidentally became beautiful. Her acting is great. When she plays opposite Wang Xuan, the audience is so crazy about her. Two actresses with queen-like appearances appear in the same drama. Will they have the same type? No, in fact, the Han woman played by Zhang Li looks very similar to the goddess played by Tang Yan. When she was in the mortal world, she was betrayed by her own sister, and she was very resentful. After ascending to become the embroidery god, she saw that the heroine looked similar to her sister, so she always made trouble for the heroine, and was completely a vicious female supporting role. However, different people play different roles. With Zhang Li's ability, she will definitely not portray the character in a stereotype way. It is said that the premiere has been accelerated again. This fairy heroine drama will be broadcast soon. In addition to the aforementioned people, Prince Chen Chu in Hong Kong beauty Zhang Ziyi will also appear. This drama is directed by Guo Hu, the director of Zhou Shang Ru Gu. If nothing goes wrong, it should be a popular drama. If it can export the values of traditional fantasy literature, it will definitely be a big hit. After all, there have been very few works of this kind in recent years. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,